September 11th, I had the distinct honor of joining Springfield Fire Battalion 1 in downtown Springfield. Uh, and throughout our shoot, I had the privilege to learn what a day of a firefighter looks like and just how truly important their job is. You will get to see a snippet of what the men and women protecting you do during their day and what the inside of a firehouse is like. I hope this segment gives you guys a little bit better understanding of our first responders. So take a look. On today's Vinny on the Job, I am here at the Springfield Fire Department, Station 1 to be exact, and I'm standing here with Tyler Beard, and we're going to run through what is it like to be a firefighter, what does a day look like, and what is the first thing they do when they get here in the morning. So Tyler, tell me a little bit what your first thing you do when you get here is. Yeah, so we usually show up about 6.15, 6.20 in the morning. Uh, first priority is to get our gear out and get it all laid out and set up for the day. Okay. Um, because at that moment, once we get here, we can get a call at any time. Mm -hmm. So getting our gear set up on the rig is top priority. And then immediately after that, um, we go and check all of our medical equipment. Yeah, so the medical equipment, what do you guys have all on the on the rig? So we carry a monitor that's equivalent to what they have in the hospital. Okay. Um, can check your rhythm, take all your vitals for us, um, do numerous other things. We carry numerous drugs and medications that can be used for anything from heart conditions to diabetes oh, wow. um, to just basic nausea vomiting. Yeah. Um, we try to help with anything that we can. We always carry oxygen with us, mm -hmm. all types of different ways to administer that, yeah. uh, making sure we have enough. And then just a general medical bag that kind of covers just about anything you could that's think of. That's so cool. I had no idea that you guys have all the medical experience, so that's that's really awesome. Yes. Okay, we are back at the truck. We are going to be deploying a hose line, I think I said that right, to the firefighters listening, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to at least try to do it. Okay, we pull this orange thing. Yep. Come on, come on, come on. It's important, it's important. Let's go. On my shoulder. Turn towards turn me, turn towards way. me, turn towards okay, me. Okay, okay, yep, we're good, we're good, we're, go. okay. we're going. <laughs> okay, we are back, but we are now in the kitchen of the firehouse. We are at the firehouse Springfield Fire off of 9th Street. Yep, 9th Capitol. And can we just take a moment for this kitchen? Uh, it's kind of amazing, not gonna yep. lie. But I want to talk to you about what goes on here. Like, just people, are there cooks that cook? Do you buy your own food? You have a lot of fridges right here. So tell me kind of the process of what the kitchen is like. Every fridge has, their, or every shift has their own fridge, has their own pantry. Uh, every shift has a guy that cooks for them most of the time. Our guy actually is off today, so yeah. now we're all kind of chipping in and helping out. Um, but we pay $15 a you day. You have a bucket every... of money right here. Yeah. Tell me what this yeah. is about. So this is our kitchen. Uh, this is our kitchen fund. We pay $15 a day per guy, and that gets you two meals, uh, lunch and dinner. And then if you have leftovers, you can might eat them for breakfast the next day. So you guys pay for all your own food? Yep, pay for all of our, all of our own food, and we go to the store, pick it up, cook it, clean up, all that. Look at that. Yep. I was not expecting that. Yep. heading back down to the truck and I'm gonna take the pole down. So you ready? Okay. Ooh. Thank you for watching Benny on the job. This segment was with the Springfield Fire Department. I've had so much fun learning about what a day looks like and just how much they really do. How they don't only fight fires but they also give medical treatment to people. But oh my gosh guys we're getting a call. We gotta go. Thank you, Chief Canny and Chief Helms, for allowing our crew into your workplace. We have so much more we want to talk about with them, so we'll be doing more. Uh, but if your company is interested in being featured, you can find my email on newschannel20.com. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.